Today on Vintage HLC Show and Tell, we are going to look at examples of wares made in the East Liverpool, Ohio area and decorated by Zappin Ceramics of New York. So Zappin Ceramics didn't make anything. They were strictly decorators. They would buy blanks from different potteries. They specialized in giftware. So they would decorate trinket boxes, cigarette boxes, candy dishes, vases, candlesticks, some dinnerware, and later on they would do lamps. So we're going to look at some examples. We'll start with the Homer Lachlan pieces. And I have two of them. First is covered bean pot from embossed oven serve. Decorated with decals. This is often called Dusty Blossom. I've seen some advertisements on newspapers.com where it's called Apple Blossom. So you can see where they've gold stamped the embossing on the oven serve. They added the decals. They did all this little hand painted uh, work around the decals. Some gold stamps, some airbrushing, blended tints, a lot going on. But this is a little bit different from the other decorators like Eastern China or Atlas China where they just do gold stamps and decals. This is a little more elevated. There's the inside. The lid. There's the embossing. The rose and poppy embossing. And then the added decals and all this gold tracing and airbrush work. We look at the bottom and what they've done, and this is typical, if there was a back stamp from a pottery, in this case a Homer Lachlan back stamp, they would blot it out with a gold rectangle and then they would put their own back stamp over top of it. So you see in the center, Zappin China. And at the top it says Lakot China. And Lakot was one of several names they used. I looked up the pronunciation for Lacotte before I started the video. There were two of them, Lacotte and Laquette. Um, I'm going to use Lacotte. Then we have a Royal Oven Serve relish dish. Now had this been decorated by Homer Lachlan, it would have gotten a platinum stamp on the reverse that was over the glaze. But since it wasn't decorated, it didn't get the platinum stamp, so there was nothing to blot out. And here we see another name, again Zap in China, or Zap in USA in this case, in the middle, and it says Beckwith China. We see a different decal here, and some gold stippling. But both of these are Zappen. Both come from the 1940s and both were originally Homer Lachlan. We'll come over here and look at Taylor Smith & Taylor next. These are Plymouth candle holders. The Plymouth shape was introduced I believe is 1937. We see the same decoration on the uh, candle holders as was on the oven served bean pot. Again it's dusty blossom or apple blossom. They've taken the ts and wreath mark, which is inside, and blotted them out. And put their own marking on the outside. Again, Lakot China. There are other pieces of ts and that can be found besides the candle holders. Uh, recently on eBay there was a uh, chop plate with a cake server. Same pattern. This is Edwin M. Knowles. Again, same blossom design, same airbrush tints, same gold uh, stamps on the border. Same details in gold over the decal. Now on this one, I took some steel wool and got rid of the gold. The Zappin mark is still there, but underneath you can see the little semi-vitreous clay pot marking that Edwin M. Knowles used. It says, Edwin M. Knowles, China Company, made in USA, 
43 5, so it's 1943. At least that's when the blank was made. It was almost certainly decorated later. Then we have Hall China. And Hall China seems to have been a favorite of Zappin, especially when it comes to this uh, dusty blossom or apple blossom pattern. So we have a raid coffee pot. Ordinarily, you would see this uh, with autumn leaf decals, but this did not get decorated with autumn leaf. It was left blank. And since it wasn't decorated with autumn leaf or other patterns, it didn't get a haul back stamp, so it was just left plain. So we see the Lakot China marking on this one. This is meant to look like this. We'll see this on other pieces where it's meant to have like a worn gold effect. We also see it on the finial. We also have an Aladdin teapot. Again, Paul China. Would have been decorated by something by Hall. Maybe Crocus, maybe one of the poppy decals, but this one was not. Instead, this blank was decorated by Zappin, Lakot China. And then we see dinnerware. And the shape they used was the same shape that Hall China used for Sears. And we see Richmond, Monticello, Mount Vernon, all using what's called the E-style uh, dinnerware. There's an E-style covered sugar. an E-style creamer. And by the way, just about every piece in the assortment of E-style dinnerware I've seen with this same blossom decoration. E-style cup and saucer. There's a different marking on this one, Lakot China. and a dinner plate. You see that familiar embossing on the verge? So we know the Hall China shapes, even though none of these are marked Hall China, we know that they're all Hall China. You also find the casserole, the gravy, the gravy liner, different sizes of bowls, different sizes of plates, uh, but the East style seems to have been a favorite of Zappin. We'll go back to the advertisement again because it shows a pair of candle holders here made for Sears, designed by Thorley and made by Hall China, which, as I understand, are very difficult to find. There's a, one candle holder at the museum at the Fiesta Tableware Company with some gold design on it. But here's one decorated by Zappin. little hole here. I'm not exactly sure why that's there. I think it might be either to allow air to escape when firing, although that seems like a rather large hole, or if they might have been trying to make a, a lamp out of this because there's a hole in the top as well. I think maybe they might have been trying to run a cord through. But in any case, this is the Thorley candlestick uh, that was made at Hall China for Sears and decorated by Zappin. we see the mark on the bottom. So when you see the dinnerware, generally it wasn't necessarily meant to be used. It was giftware. You would take it, you would put it in the hutch for display. So a lot of these pieces you're going to find in very good condition. Demitasse cups and saucers. I suspect these are royal china. 
based on this body. I've seen Royal China pieces with that type of indented body from the 40s. Look at a saucer. And there's another pattern they used on dinnerware, Morning Glory. And I don't have a piece to show, but this is actually rather common. This is W.S. George's Bolero shape. And this advertisement comes directly from an issue of the Crockery and Glass Journal, September 1947. And it's talking about this pattern, and it gives a little insight into the decoration, not only for this one, but also the blossom pattern. It says it's designed with soft shadings of turquoise blue blended into the body, gold trace leaves, gold lace borders, coin gold handles, and bandings. Relief highlights make this wear outstanding in the be better dinnerware field. So that's a little bit about Zappen and some of the products. You'll find many more pieces than what I'm showing, you know, Homer, Hall China, TS&T, Edwin M. Knowles, W.S. George, and Harker Pottery. Unfortunately, I don't have any Harker pieces to show. Um, but what's nice is that they do all these different giftware pieces, like these candlesticks. You're not going to find Atlas China or Eastern China or any of the others decorating candlesticks. They focused mainly on salad sets and cake sets. So one last thing to talk about. And that is Simone. Simone was the Zappin's daughter. And her obituary talks about the company Zappin Ceramics. So we'll go through this obituary real quick. Simone Zappin Harris, teacher and computer expert, died Tuesday, April 8, 2003, at her home, the victim of murder. She was 57 years old. Police have charged her former husband with her death. Ms. Harris was born and grew up in New York City where her parents, Gerhardt, that should actually be a D at the end, not a T. I've seen other documents on newspapers.com that have a different spelling for his name. Her parents, Gerhardt and Sherry Zappen, own and ran a lamp manufacturing company, Zappen Ceramics. And it goes on to talk about her life and her children. So what happened was, um, looking at other articles, uh, she was in fact murdered by her husband, and it had to do with money, it had to do with divorce settlements, and uh, I believe uh, alimony and child support. Um, so I don't want to get too much into that, because uh, that's outside the scope of, of what I want to talk about. But when I do find Zappin, or encounter it in a shop or something like that, I can't help but be reminded of the tragedy associated um, with the family of this company. But I think that's going to do it for now. Again, Zappin Ceramics out of New York, decorator of wares from the 1940s and 1950s.